In this video, I like to complete a number of problems to write chemical equations with Bronsted-Lowry acids and bases. Don't get too distracted by the words net ionic equation. Simply focus on writing a balanced chemical equation for a Bronsted acid or base. In this example, we are to write an equation for formic acid. And we want to make sure include aqueous, AQ, because we are in water. For all of these problems, we're going to write one ionization step. Unless we are told in the problem, you are to assume there is one acidic hydrogen on acid molecules, and the bases are monobasic, meaning they'll produce one hydroxide for one formula unit of a base. Here we are to write the conjugate base of formic acid. So that would be the formula for formic acid less one hydrogen and less one positive charge. So we would write COO and then negative and then we need to include aqueous. The Bronsted acid is now the water plus a H plus and we also want to include aqueous. Notice the mass balance of the equation the number of atoms of each type are equal on each side of the equation. That's something we've done. But also I want to point out charge balance. The total charge on the left side is zero. The total charge on the right side must also be zero. Positive one and negative one make zero. So charge balance is another way you could check if you have completed a correct balanced chemical equation. Here we have acetyl salicylic acid. Formula looks pretty complex and it has eight hydrogens. Which one do we pick to be the acidic hydrogen? Most of the time it's best to choose the single hydrogen at the beginning of the formula to be the acidic hydrogen. HC9. The Bronsted base is the acetyl salicylic acid molecule less 1H+. So we'll write C9H7 and aqueous conjugate acid is H3O+. Plus. Here we have a covalent compound containing nitrogen. And the problem indicates it is a base. Because it is a base, one mole of hydroxide needs to be included on the right side of the equation. We need to place the hydroxide in the conjugate base area. Because the conjugate acid is the base molecule with an additional hydrogen ion. A question that often arises when the formulas get a little more complex is where to put, for instance, in this case, this additional hydrogen. Should we add it to the 5 to make this H6? Or where I placed it with the two hydrogens to make it an H3? Rule of thumb is place the additional hydrogen ion with the nitrogen. 